All right, y'all. I'm in the process of uh, changing the oil in a 2020 Yamaha Snow Scoot 200. This is a very chronic uh, pain in the ass issue, I guess. Um, so I tried going online, watching videos, finding videos on YouTube. It wasn't much in the forums. So I figured I'd make a quick video on how I did this. Um, if you prep this all in advance, it's not too bad. So I'll tell you what I did. First thing I do is I take those two bolts off. You should probably take those two off, but I was frustrated and just moved it up. And then you got to remove the exhaust, which, you know, like if you're used to a snowmobile, you got some clips here you got to take off. And then you got that guy there. Um, they put this on there and they bend these little tabs up around the bolt so you end up having to use a screwdriver and a hammer to uh, flatten that out so you get your socket in there. But anyways, once you get that out, take your dipstick out, give you room. This is what I used. Um, you know, it's a number, and it's a 12 millimeter, small little extension, just a quarter ratchet. But what I figured out is if I could, if I slipped it in here, you can kind of see I'm actually, already got oil coming out of this thing. There's a hole. Um, but anyways, see how well I can show this. But anyways, what I did is I just came in, came in the side of there. And then if you get in there, you can kick your socket sideways like that. And then you have the ability then to get it on there, get it on the nut. And then what I ended up having to do is what was it, once it was on, it was in there and it kind of gave you enough room. And since this was factory, I don't know, Hercules must have tightened that damn oil drain plug nut. So anyways, I just used this extension bar on top of my ratchet, broke it loose. Once it broke loose, I was able to, and I have big hands, um, I was able to stick my hand in there and then turn out the nut, turn out the drain plug nut, and then pull it out. So um, that is basically what I did. And, you know, that wasn't that horrible. Now, I still have the process of, it's hard to see, but it's the process of getting back in and it's, a little hard to see because it's really it's right underneath that it's hard to see there it is i think you can kind of see right there it's right underneath right right there so i did that and it's uh draining out so i'll probably just pour some oil in there and let it flush it out a little bit there's a lot of contaminants since there's no filter but anyways that's what i did not too bad and i think i should be able to get that nut in there get my hand back in there turn it on as much as i can then i'll put my ratchet back in there and do the same thing so I think that is the easiest way. And if I didn't mention already, there is like a little rubber grommet. Yeah, you can see this little rubber grommet. Mine is already propped open, so it kind of already gives it like a drain point. Um, so it does drain out and it's got an oil pan, you know, s sitting underneath there collecting all of it. But anyways, that is the way I would do it. Um, yeah, undo that, take your muffler off, just get out of the way, take your drain plug out and then Get yourself a little quarter small ratchet and then just feed it in. Feed it in like that. Oops, on the right side of that. Don't do what I just did. If you're smart, you have one of these in your And then you just try to pull this out with one hand, isn't going to work. Anyways. Can't end the video with me losing my tool in there, can I? Alright. Anyways, gotta yeah, you get your tool in there like that. And you should be able to get your ratchet on there, break it loose, and put it all back in. So that is it. I don't think it's too horrible actually if you do those steps. Hope that helps.